Hello crew family. Uh, my name's Courtney. I'm one of your crew educators here with Brittany Smith. And we have the lovely Reggie from Respiratory Therapy thanks. today. Hi, thanks. He's gonna be explaining a few things about our high flow nasal cannulas, bypass, and OptiFlow. Okay. Take okay. it away. I shall. So um, we're basically gonna go over um, not really how to use it, just common things to look out for, uh, mistakes that I won't call it a mistake, just errors that happen, mainly with the equipment, the way it's not designed, just the, the natural way it, it functions. These hap this, these things happen, I see them not often, but I've seen them enough to where it will probably be beneficial for everybody to know what to look for uh, if this does happen to the patient, because the main reason I really did want to um, partake in this is because there are times when your therapist has multiple areas where not always two minutes away, sometimes up to 10 minutes away. It's not on purpose, it's just the nature of the beast at times, everyone I think knows this, yeah, yeah. Um, with every department, not just us. So little things to look out for, for reducing patient potential patient harm. Uh, so if, it, if there is a longer timeline for us to get there, you're gonna know what to look for. And it's usually pretty simple, but it can be deceiving. And it actually took me a few tries with some of this equipment to figure out what the problems were. Um, I was never shown them. You know, like we didn't really get in services on a lot of this stuff, so I just kind of figured it out winging it. So I'm going to pass that knowledge on to everybody, you know, to hopefully right. reduce potential harm for patients. 